once you plug it in welcome back to another video uh, today we have the e uh code reader obd2 scanner uh, this is the ya101 code reader uh, check engine light o2 sensor evap test and on and onward uh, pretty much um, just a simple review today uh, I know I haven't posted a lot of reviews lately because uh, of the you know what's going on I haven't had a chance to go to the stores buy new products um, but then again this company did send me this um, they, uh, they sent me this free of charge so they are not sponsored they're not paying me for uh, this uh, review or this video they just uh, sent me this to try it out for you guys and see if it works or not um, so uh, we got the OBD2 uh, code reader enhanced scanner code scanner uh, pretty basic here it's the model number YA101 all right let's unbox this and guys don't forget to smash the like button hit the subscribe and hit the bell um, every single subscriber that I get every single like it does help the channel it helps me buy more tools so I can give you guys more reviews and that way I can make more videos um, so please feel free to subscribe and help out the channel all right that's it all right first of all we got some instructions here um, really basic instructions uh, just the regular functions um, of the buttons here um, put these aside uh, we got the port here this is an OBD2 port this is your standard port I believe 97 and up on vehicles um, this is the device itself it does come with a nice little bag and it does come with a protector for the screen this is the e die uh, E-Die, I just call it E-Die, OBD2 uh, E-O-B-D uh, scan or CAN, C-N-A. All right, uh, pretty basic on the back, this is OBD2 quote scanner. Uh, we got um, maybe a serial number there, uh, made in China. But, uh, zero, let's put it back to inches, all right. So um, widest part, it's uh, 2.67 inches. Um, longest without the cable, you got 4.89 inches. And the thickest part, I would say just I just put it right here in the middle. Um, it's 0.87 inches, so just under an inch there. 0.88. Let's see here. Put this aside, and then we got a cable here, or the the wire that goes into the vehicle. Like that I would say about three feet, not very long, just a normal size for something like this, for a normal scanner. Um, it does say OBD2 uh, on the connection part. And I gotta say, pretty good quality. The the connector feels uh, pretty solid. Nothing that's gonna fall and just break at the first time. So obviously, it feels pretty solid. The cable's pretty thick, uh, pretty well made. Um, the box itself, it's plastic. Feels pretty pretty good. Um, not uh, nothing rubber or anything, but it does have these uh, grip uh, lines here, so you can just have some more grip. Uh, so it doesn't fall out of your hands. Uh, we do have some sort of um, computer maybe for updating it or something like that to connect it to the USB. Um, I'll read the instructions. I'm probably going to run this just like it came out of the box. I'm going to see if I can put the seatbelt on so this thing will not uh, keep uh, going off. You know how Fords are. So we got to put the seatbelt back on. Okay. So no seatbelt there. We got the the iDag or iDai iDai uh, code reader. I'm gonna connect this to the OBD2 port. And we do have a check engine light that just came on right now. So we'll check that out. Um, we just gotta find the port. 
know if you guys see it right there, but that is the port. You got diagnostic. Let's, let me step in the vehicle. All right, we're in the vehicle here. So um, we got, this is the tool itself. I don't know if you guys could read it. This is diagnostics. All right, so we got diagnostics right there. It says look in, so you guys can see it. It says DTC look up, voltage test. It says option and about. So we're gonna hit diagnostics. Hit enter or okay, it says loading. You guys can see that. So it says detecting ISO 157, 65, because those are other codes, maybe. Uh, let's see, uh, MIL status on DTC CNT1, monitor OK, three, engine type spark. back read codes all right you got you have to go back after that um, menu so just hit the back button there so it says read codes it says pending codes you press ok again it says please wait anyways it says camshaft position sensor a circuit B minus and one or back one or single sensor um, this is one out of one camshaft position so it just has one code somehow um, I just however I just um, this battery was completely dead I just jump started right now um, I don't know if you guys see my Viking video um, but I just jump started this vehicle with the Viking um, it was completely dead so it doesn't have other codes but it tells you right there the code um, it says camshaft position sensor, um, A circuit B, bank or yeah bank one or single sensor. This is just one. I guess more more codes are pending. So uh, this this truck still has to run the cycles, so you can get more um, codes out of it. But um, from what we can see here, we can erase the codes if we want. Here, I'm gonna try the eraser codes. Do you want to trouble code or clear the trouble codes? It will clear all the emissions related. Okay, I'll just put that. Have been cleared. So we'll just put read codes. Read codes pending. Please wait. And the check engine light, this, this came off, by the way. So it does work to erase the codes. Um, it says low fuel on there, but it doesn't have the check engine light used to be on the bottom So it just came off and So it does work it did release the or erase the code So you guys want to use it for that we got live data it Says please wait All right uh, live data DTC zero MIO STS uh, milk off Fuel system, seal fault. Fuel system two, not used. Load PCT, 19.2%. EDCT, 80 Celsius. So I guess maybe that's the temperature. Um, you got ASHRTF T1. Uh, negative. And it's running from negative you guys see it right there maybe you guys could see it it says negative 1.6 point 0.8 point 0.8 negative zero so it varies it says long tf shift two and then long shift or long ft2 i guess you got a short uh short 
FT2 and long FT2. Um, and you got the percentages right there. RPM. So it does tell you the RPM of the vehicle. You guys see it right there. It's uh, 716. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to um, uh, step on the gas. See if the RPMs go up. There's a thousand. Pretty accurate, I would say. Um, so it's right at 14. Yeah, right at 14 there. Well, it's actually 12, 13 here. So um, it's going to go back down again to 700. Um, let's see what else we got. VSS. We got spark plug, KDV, um, 10.0 or 8.5 uh, degrees or Celsius, whatever you want to call it. Um, you got IAT 39 Celsius, maybe the, what is that? You got the MAF 6.59, I see it. You got the TP18, uh, 18%. You got the O2 S lock, and you got the B B2 S4. All those. All right, let's see here. We got some more. Pretty much the same as uh, before. Got some percentages here, and this is more mostly for the mechanics. Uh, you can Google this out and find out. You can find out exactly what all these um, codes are or, you know, percentages. Alright, let's go back. It says freeze frame. I guess you can just uh, maybe take a quick snapshot or something. Yeah. Take a quick snapshot. Vehicle info. Turn on key engine off. I don't know if it's going to start if I turn it off. Um, I am readiness mode 6 O2 sensor test. So we'll just look at diagnostics again. It says detecting. reading codes please wait no code stored in the module so yeah so I gotta say this scanner does work it gives you all the codes um, we'll have to check out the codes what those codes mean the the 10 and all those codes so um, yeah works pretty good I gotta I gotta say I'm I'm pretty uh, impressed with this thing it does work so um, yeah thank you guys for watching don't forget to smash the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the bell for more tour reviews to deals, and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you for watching.